In this letter, I discuss two significant dreams that have offered me insights into the struggles for progress and the evolution of human consciousness. These dreams center around Elon Musk, an influential figure known for his relentless pursuit of innovation and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. By exploring these dreams, I aim to shed light on the internal battle within our collective consciousness and its impact on the path forward for humanity. Before examining these dreams, it is essential to recognize the symbolic significance of Elon Musk within the collective consciousness. While many know Musk as the eccentric billionaire with the ambitions of sending humans to Mars, I believe he's one of our generation's greatest inventors, similar to Nikola Tesla. Musk is often portrayed as driven by his motivation to push humanity beyond its limitations. He embodies progress and the evolution of human consciousness. Dream 1 occurred in 2021 during the global pandemic a time marked by unrest, fear, and uncertainty. It was a period when various theories questioning the true motives behind the pandemic began circulating on the internet. One of these theories centered around the Great Reset, a purported plan to establish a one-world totalitarian government. Allegedly, the World Economic Forum, an organization focused on promoting world-class corporate governance, played a role in executing this plan. The World Economic Forum's phrase, you'll own nothing and be happy, sparked widespread discussion and speculation about their true intentions. In the dream, I found myself walking with Elon Musk, conversing about consciousness. Elon brought up the pressing issues facing Earth and humanity, expressing concern over how we are destroying our planet. Suddenly, a giant Earth materialized in front of us, and standing before it was Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum. The details of the rest of the dream faded from memory, but I distinctly felt a profound understanding of Klaus's role in the universe. Dream 2 occurred in March 2023, when Elon Musk took over Twitter. In the months following his takeover, information began to emerge regarding the suppression and censorship of vast content on the platform, allegedly for political reasons. Additionally, there were revelations of government involvement in these actions. In the dream, Elon and I were engaged in conversation, and he explained that he felt compelled to assume control of Twitter to preserve truth. It would make sense to analyze both dreams within a broader underlying theme. At the core of both dreams lies a profound message about the struggle for progress and advancement of humanity. Symbolically, represented by Elon Musk, this fight for humanity can be associated with the concept of light, signifying truth, growth, and enlightenment. In Dream 1, we are presented with two contrasting archetypes, Elon Musk as the embodiment of light, representing truth and progression, and Klaus Schwab as the embodiment of darkness, symbolizing fear and control. These archetypes symbolize the fundamental duality of existence, the interplay between light and dark, and the inherent balance between opposing forces. The presence of both light and darkness serve as a purpose in shaping our collective consciousness. Without darkness, the concept of light loses its significance, and without light, darkness loses its meaning. The dynamic relationship between the two forces is essential for growth and transformation. Just as in a game of chess, where each move prompts a response from the other player, the interaction between light and darkness creates a ripple effect that influences our collective consciousness. Moreover, the inclusion of the Earth and Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, suggests that the message conveyed in the dream transcends individual experiences and resonates with the broader collective consciousness. It implies that the struggle between light and darkness, truth and control, is not limited to personal journeys, but is a part of a larger narrative that impacts humanity as a whole. By acknowledging the interdependence of these opposing forces, we attained an important comprehension of the intricate interplay between light and darkness, which may extend to the collective level. Based on my interpretation, I theorize that our collective consciousness is grappling with the challenge of progress symbolized by the actions of its ego, as reflected in the behaviors of the archetypes or actors such as the World Economic Forum and governmental institutions. When we examine individual scale reactions driven by fear and control, we can often draw parallels to the actions undertaken by our collective ego. In our personal lives, the ego can manifest as responses rooted in self-preservation and resistance to change. Likewise, on a larger scale, our collective ego may exhibit behaviors motivated by preserving existing systems and resistance to transformative progress. These behaviors can result in actions driven by fear and the desire to maintain control over the status quo. Within the context of Dream 1, the presence of Klaus Schwab in the World Economic Forum and their association with darkness and control suggests a reflection of these collective ego tendencies. The dream symbolizes the struggle between progress and the forces that seek to maintain the current state of affairs. However, in a world characterized by constant change, the evolution of our consciousness remains in an undeniable certainty. Despite attempts to hinder this evolution, the inevitability of change persists 
it is through these necessary changes that progress and growth emerge. The human spirit strives for freedom and enlightenment in the face of suppression. The thirst for truth becomes insatiable, and the longing for justice and transparency grows more robust. The collective consciousness reaches a breaking point where the desire for truth supersedes the fear of consequences. History has witnessed peaceful and violent revolutions sparked by the necessity of truth breaking free from its constraints. When truth is stifled for too long, it becomes a force that cannot be contained indefinitely. While suppressing truth may pose temporary obstacles, it cannot alter the inevitable course of progress. The indomitable human spirit and the unyielding quest for truth will continue to break through barriers, illuminating the darkness and guiding humanity towards a brighter future. This notion is echoed in Dream 2 where Elon Musk discusses his decision to acquire Twitter to preserve truth. In an era marked by the suppression and censorship of information for political reasons, the preservation of truth becomes increasingly vital. It serves as a reminder that the quest for truth should not be impeded by external forces seeking to manipulate or control the narrative. Moreover, Green 2 emphasizes that truth represented by light, cannot be silenced for too long. By taking ownership of Twitter, Elon Musk symbolically aligns himself with the values of openness and the preservation of truth. This action underscores the significance of these principles in shaping our collective consciousness. However, it's essential to acknowledge that the meaningful change becomes difficult to achieve without an awareness of the darkness. Just as in our individual lives, personal growth and transformation often stems from a recognition and understanding of our own shadows and shortcomings. As we see on a collective scale, awareness of the forces of darkness and control, exemplified by the actions of the World Economic Forum, serves a purpose in prompting us to take actions. The presence of darkness and the actions of entities like the World Economic Forum are catalysts for awakening and response. They shine a light on the areas in society that require examination and transformation. Without this awareness, we remain complacent or oblivious to the need for change. Through this awareness, we are propelled into action, seeking to confront and address the issues at hand. In the context of the dreams, the presence of Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum signifies their role in our collective consciousness. They act as a mirror, reflecting back the aspects of ourselves and society that need examination and change. Their actions, driven by fear and control, invite us to confront our own fears and attachments to outdated systems. By acknowledging and understanding these forces, we can actively respond and work towards creating a more equitable, transparent, and progressive world. In conclusion, I would like to share some final thoughts. I believe that we are currently experiencing a peculiar period of transition within the collective consciousness. Building upon the theory I presented in this letter, I believe this transition is from darkness to light. To understand the macro level changes take place, let us first examine the transformation process on an individual level. During times of significant personal change, Many of us go through what is commonly referred to as the dark night of the soul. This is a profound journey where we confront aspects of ourselves that require deeper understanding, healing, and forgiveness. Through this experience, we realize the importance of embracing these dark elements within ourselves as a necessary step towards progress. It is akin to finding the balance between the light and dark forces within our psyche. While we may never eliminate these dark traits, we can learn to control them in a healthy manner that supports our personal growth. Speculatively, I propose that a similar process is occurring on a collective level. As we navigate this transition, we witness the manifestation of lunacy, chaos, and even evil. However, we must bring these elements into the light of awareness. Only through acknowledgement and analysis can we learn and move forward. It is essential to recognize that our conflicts and grudges towards others are ultimately futile in the grand scheme of humanity's unity. Instead, they serve as mirrors reflecting aspects within us that require introspection and examination for great change. While this transition may present challenges, it is an essential part of our journey, for change is the only constant in this world. By viewing the dreams through this lens, we gain valuable insights into the dynamic interplay between opposing forces in the pursuit of progress. The dreams remind us of the inherent connection between challenges and growth, as well as the delicate balance required for the advancement of society. They challenge us to consider how our choices and actions contribute to the ongoing battle for the betterment of humanity.